Well, now I want to go to uh, Tom Farrell, who is uh, scratch building a new layout. But tonight, he's going to tell us something a little bit different. He scratch built a caboose. Tom, welcome. Thank you for having me this evening. And uh, we'll get back to my layout next week. I'll have the digital command center in place and uh, hopefully won't bore everybody to death. I'll try to make it interesting. <laughs> this evening, I have a substitute, a um, scratch built workhorse caboose. I did an ON30 and uh, kind of used a new technique to speed the uh, scratch building along. Um, Phil, if you could throw up the PowerPoint or I could do one myself. Here we go. All right. So that's an overall of the finished caboose in black and white there. Uh, I actually made this thing in 2019. Uh, at the end of it, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do to it uh, when I revisit it and actually find it. It's squirreled away in a box somewhere right now. Um, so let's just go forward here. I promise 15 minutes. I began this project with a ready-made uh, mm -hmm. car underframe. This is, uh, they're sold in a three pack from Bachman. This is ON30, and uh, you can get them in black or oxide red. I, uh, they're sold less trucks and couplers. Um, I chose black. The first thing I did after removing the couplers so I wouldn't damage them was put uh, wood around the perimeter. So I just took some scale lumber, two by eights. I scratched the wood so it had some uh, grain to it. And then I, with a black India ink wash, I stained it and then I super glued it to the outside frame. So that, that right away that gave me a huge jump start on my uh, caboose. We go to the next page. So then I started with the decking. And again, I took a uh, scale two by six basswood. I scribed it. I stained them individually so they wouldn't all have the same look to them. I used different stains. It's particularly, particularly evident in the upper right-hand uh, photograph. Um, and again, I super glued everything down because you're, you're putting wood on plastic. So you don't have too many choices with the adhesive. And I tried to keep everything square. So uh, I didn't want any run out. Okay, next one. I elected to put a plywood floor in this because the Bachman uh, underframe was somewhat warped and uh, I wanted to add a little strength and a little weight to a little mass to this. So I took a 1 8 inch air aircraft grade, model aircraft grade plywood and a little, little saw that I have from Micromark and Cut that, and if you notice, I notched out uh, the front of it for the, uh, the door. Um, so it, it um, go to the next slide. So here we see the siding. That's uh, just a scale uh, siding from Mount Albert. Again, I use the same India ink washes and I test fit the grant line windows to the side of the caboose there. Um, here you see all four sides in place. Now I, just like my structures, I uh, put in qu quarter inch bracing. Um, that way, if you pick this thing up, you don't crush that very delicate siding, which is pretty flimsy. And um, you know, it doesn't cost you any real money. It just costs time to, uh, you know, to brace brace the living daylights out of it. it makes for a really strong model. I should point out that even though I build lots and lots of scratch builds, this is the very first scratch build piece of rolling stock I ever made. Okay, next slide. So here we see uh, I'm test fitting the doors, the front and rear doors. The rear door is just a single door. The other is like a freight, uh, freight door, if you will. Um, and then I frame them in wood. If you see to the bottom right, I put uh, some wood out around the perimeter of that rear door. Okay, next slide. 
This is the roof. I took the roof off of a ON30 uh, caboose, Bachman caboose that I was I kit bashed. So I had this roof in my parts bin. So I made a couple cuts there and I removed the uh, walkway on the top. And uh, then I squeezed it together, you know, with styrene glue and glued the two halves. Now it was too short. So then I had a couple fill pieces that I put in, just happened to have black plastic. And I, not that that matters, but I uh, put in a couple of fill pieces. I think they were 040 or so. And uh, with some sort of uh, plastic glue, solvent glue uh, glued it in place. Um, go to the next one. The tar paper is actually uh, watercolor paper, very textured. It has like a rough texture to it. And then just with uh, watercolor paint, I just put washes of uh, watercolor on there and uh, a magic marker. I put a couple lines in there and uh, came out pretty effective. Um, and then those roof board supports, that was the most difficult thing on this whole scratch build. They're very tiny. I chose to make them out of wood, which was a mistake. Uh, next time I'll make them out of styrene. Um, but I, I got them in place and I super glued them to the roof. The end railings, the uh, safety rails at the end of the caboose, I didn't want to make them out of wood because I thought wood would be too fragile and I didn't want to use styrene for the same reason. So I used um, brass and I made a jig, which you'll see you see on the left there. I just took a piece of plywood and a couple pieces of that quarter inch material. I drew out what I wanted, made this jig and um, soldered it with a heavy duty Weller hand gun. And um, the second picture there is, it, it's the solder is very soft. So you just file it, file it away. It takes like minutes to get it to look from the left to the right. And then I, uh, with a rattle can, just sprayed it with a primer. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it's pretty strong, you know, really. It's much stronger than wood and it's much stronger than styrene. So that all worked very well. Uh, next picture. There it is weathered in place. I super glued that into place and uh, it's not going anywhere. I mean, you can pick it up by that. You know, it's not a delicate model, you know, and the, you can see the rear doors weathered there and uh, it's starting to look like a caboose. So we'll go to the next picture. So there I have the windows in place and I uh, weathered them. I weathered the frames differently than the uh, mullins, which are green. And I put in a, um, it's not weathered there, but the smoke uh, smokestack that leads to the quote, pot belly stove inside. And there's a ladder there that's from Grant Line. I uh, cut and painted it and super glued that on. I used super glue ACC for the whole, whole model. Um, Next picture. So there's a side view of the other side. Uh, it too has a ladder. You can see that I've put those walkways. Those are scale two by fours running across the top of the roof. This is all Mount Albert or equivalent scale lumber. And uh, it's all scratched with a uh, either a, a, a file or a scratching tool that I have and then uh, washes of uh, alcohol washes across it and some paint too. You know, this, see along the roof line, I put some, looks like rust coming down from the roof, um, suggesting that the roof might be metal. I just wanted it to look like hell since it's a work, work caboose. Next picture. Now the back of the caboose has a, uh, a canvas roof support, which you'll see. So again, I used the same technique. I built a, I drew what I wanted. Then I built a uh, simple um, jig and I, I, I cut this brass. It's roughly an eighth inch by an eighth inch, roughly. 
I cut it with snips and then I filed it with a file so everything was square. I actually used a circular um, electric sander that I have from Micromark, just a little sander. So I got all the uh, ends square and tight fits and I laid those vertical brass pieces in place. And then with a uh, my heavy duty uh, Weller hand uh, gun, I melted the solder onto the joints and uh, show the next picture. A little blurry, but there's that uh, frame in place. It's super glued in place. And um, I made basically a bookcase for the front of this thing. You'll see it a little, if you look to the right, that's the front of the uh, work caboose. Then I put in a, uh, I forget where I got it, but a, a workbench, I painted everything up put in a trash can there. In the trash can, I uh, the, when I I put the trucks on this model to see how it would ride, I, I suspected that that cast metal workbench um, would throw the balance off of the car, and it did. It was listing to the left. So I came up with the idea of a this trash can has some tungsten pinewood derby weights inside of it, and I, that righted the wrong. And uh, now the car is balanced and I have some nice weight to the car. Next picture. There's a view of the frame and the canvas roll. The, the theory is that if it rains and you're working on your, whatever it is on the workbench, you can pull that canvas over that frame and get some uh, protection from the rain or the sun. That's the theory of it. Plus it was just a neat idea. I went to Hobby Lobby looking for some sort of gauze material. I found a handbag that was like nothing, like three bucks. I just cut a patch right out of the handbag and threw the handbag away. And I uh, coated that thing with super glue, a really fine super glue. Uh, it smoked so much I thought it was going to catch fire when I did that. Just a little side note. But it's it's now like a piece of plastic, which is what I wanted. Okay, next picture. Now here we see the underside of the freight car. I started weathering. Uh, this is all the details that come uh, with that um, pre-made uh, arch, pre-made Bachman underframe. Just saves a lot of steps, you know. And then, of course, I purchased the arch bar trucks, weathered them up, put the couplers on, and we're ready to go. Show you the next picture. There's a picture of the finished car. I said I'm going to revisit that. You see the uh, the wall that's on the right hand side. The uh, they're one by sixes vertical um, cross from the workbench. That looks too neat and orderly to me now. I'm going to go back and uh, tear them up a little bit, weather that a little bit, disrespect that wood a little bit, if you will, because of, it looks too fresh to me, yeah. Next picture. That's looking down at the car. So you see the frame that holds the canvas and um, the workbench and the roof, how it's all weathered, everything's weathered. And the two by four walkways, see how they're staggered. Um, made a really handsome work car. I was really pleased with my first efforts at scratch building. And then the fine, final picture. There it is on the X rustic buff and old Gothic layout. And uh, that's my finished, finished caboose.